Lady Gaga. What can I say about Lady Gaga? Since she first burst onto the music scene with the fame back in 2008, she has become a pop cultural icon for sure. There has been no one like her, and there probably will never be another one like her. But as a Christian, how do we address this strange phenomenon? How do we look at it? Lady Gaga has become a legend, and, and she doesn't show any signs of leaving the music scene anytime soon. So as Christians and thinking people, we need to decide what, what we think about Lady Gaga, what God thinks about Lady Gaga, and how we should treat this pop cultural phenomenon. And so, slap on your dancing shoes and get your disco stick, whatever the heck that is. It's time to take a look at Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is such a controversial and bizarre figure that people usually love her or hate her, and there is a pretty good reason for both. On the surface, you can see why pe everyone loves Lady Gaga. She is a very talented person. She can play the piano amazingly well. She's actually been doing it since she was four, and she sings really well. And above all that, she is where she is today because she worked hard. Not because she worked on the Disney Channel or because she knew people, but because, but because she worked hard and eventually got recognized by the right people. It's rare to hear of a singer getting rich and, ta and famous just by working hard, and so that in itself is pretty freaking amazing. You can also admire Lady Gaga for her dedication. She has never seen anywhere not dressed up and something bizarre. Uh, it takes a lot of work to come up with all those weird designs, and it's cool that she's so dedicated to it. For her, according to her interviews, her art really is her life. You can see that every day. According to her, dedication doesn't stop there either. A lot of work goes into her shows, making them more big, more spectacular, and more fun for her and her fans. It's really cool to see a celebrity who doesn't care as much about having money or the fancy houses and such, but cares mostly about her art, what she does, and making everything she does totally awesome. That is really, really cool. Heck, even her message is good when you first look at it. The theme behind her shows is this. She calls for all the broken-hearted misfits of the world to show their true colors no matter what society thinks. That is really cool. And honestly, if that was all there was to her message, that would be really, really cool. Because I really admire that message. as a fa as a misfit myself, I can honestly understand where she's coming from. However, sadly, that's not what her message is. Unfortunately, the haters have a good reason for their views, too. In calling for misfits to be themselves, she calls them not only just to be themselves, but to be however sexual they want to. Her lyrics are beyond raunchy, and she dresses in clothing that leaves almost nothing to the imagination. Lady Gaga uses sex to her advantage to capture the attention of the populace. As a burlesque dancer, she knows how to get attention, and she squeezes every drop out of it. And sadly, she preaches the message, too, that it's, that it's okay to sexually express yourself however you want, and that anyone who tries to stop you is just plain wrong. It's a sinful message through and through. I know what you must be thinking by now. You must be thinking that I'm a huge prude, I'm just being a Christian, blah, 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 and I think all sex is bad. No, I don't. Uh, sex is a very good thing when it's in a marriage with a man and a woman. It is beautiful, it, it creates children, and it's just a beautiful thing to be shared. It's actually wonderful, and I hope to have it someday. But moving on. Well, when sex is abused, it just causes more pain in the end. I mean, think about it. The way our society flaunts sex around, it looks like if you like someone, you if you're not sleeping with them, you're doing something wrong. And all television makes it look like that. And in, in the real world, you might think how life, that's how life is, but it's not. And in reality, if sex is abused outside of marriage, then, even within marriage sometimes, it's, It's just wrong, and it just causes more pain in the end. I mean, think about it. Think about all the men and women out there who were having sex with someone, they were having so much fun until they realized that someone was just using them for their performance and then dumped them when they got tired of them. Are they having any fun? What about all the single mothers out there? Are they having fun? What about all the 
homosexuals dying of AIDS? Are they having any fun? And what about all the women suffering from guilt of, from abortions or whatever? Are they having any fun? My point is, is that sex is, can be a beautiful thing, but I'm saying that the way Lady Gaga uses it, she's, the way she flaunts it, the message she is preaching to be as sexual as you want is only going to cause more pain in the end. There's a reason that these rules are there. The one reason they're there is to prevent is to prevent emotional pain and prevent all the crap that happens and prevent all the crap that happens when sex isn't inside of marriage. Not only is it logically wrong. And is it logically going to bring more pain? God is against it, too. Uh, against what Lady Gaga might tell you. In 1 Corinthians 6.18, it says, Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. And so here, you're not only sinning against God or other people, you're also sinning against yourself, in a way. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10, it says that the homosexuals and the sexually immoral will, moral will not, repeat, will not go on to inherit the kingdom of God. So as you can see, every all the sexual lifestyles that Lady Gaga advocates for are only going to lead to destruction. I mean, destruction. And... And not only that, in a way she's blaspheming and misrepresenting God by claiming that this ex that this lifestyle is something he wants for us. Her music is contagiously catchy and can be extremely fun to listen to, but you have to be careful not to let the her music warp the way you think about sex. And so be careful about the way she influences you, but at the same time you need to pray for this woman. Because honestly, okay, unlike three-fourths of the Beatles and Michael Jackson, she had a happy childhood at home, but once she got out to school and got into the world, she was teased and made fun of a lot because she was different. And to make it matters more depressing, she was ridiculed and made fun of in a Catholic school, a place where, gir where children are supposed to be able to go and find the body of Christ. Now, this is tragic in, sh in so many ways, and it is another case in point for why Christians can often drive people away from Christ instead of drive people to Christ. I've experienced it myself, and I know that being rejected by people who are supposed to be Christians can be an extremely hard thing to go through. However, it doesn't make an excuse for the way she acts, but it's in a... But it's in a Having gone through it myself, I can understand how it is. And she, according to her, this heartbreak, not only in her, in her personal school relationships, but in her romantic relationships, couldn't, and used to inspire much of her work today, as she searches for, for love and the fames, sex, and maybe God. She is a very talented woman, and, and from interviews I've read, very intelligent too. She's a tragically using all her talent for all the wrong reasons. So all we can do now, so all we can do now is pray for her and pray that God would show her the way. This is KC5693, also known as the Christian Reviewer, signing off. Ciao.